Hello everyone and welcome to the third part of the Ryzen build. Uh, what you see here it's the old PC that is going to be transformed into the Ryzen build and uh, as you can see it uh, looks uh, like a ghetto build and it is. Uh, it's actually made from two stacked uh, uh, cases which are bolted together and it runs on two uh, separate power supplies and uh, I have added this circuit here which is a relay and uh, the first power supply uh, commands the second power supply so they share uh, the load uh, this was done uh, because uh, I had a lot of uh, components in it and uh, did a lot of testing and ended up having two power supplies and uh, using this configuration worked for years and years I didn't have any kind of uh, trouble using uh, that uh, combination and uh, it also was very good to my budget because uh, there are uh, uh, cheap power supplies these uh, two uh, ones that you see here installed and uh, uh, bought them together and even so both of them were only half the price of uh, good quality power supply so from this uh, old system I'm going to keep all my uh, drives that you see here there are four regular hard drives uh, there is one SSD also installed here uh, I also have an optical DVD drive and a fan controller which I'm going to keep and uh, also I'm going to use the video card it's a GeForce uh, GTX uh, 960 so that will be transplanted to the new system so I'm going to start to take the motherboard out remove all the cables here and install the new motherboard after a few minutes it uh, looks uh, like this I still have uh, to take some things out but uh, talk about uh, messy cable management or uh, it's uh, not existence and we are getting some space inside uh, I think I'm going to install the new power supply in the uh, down uh, part of the case in the basement of uh, the case and uh, we'll uh, leave more space in the up side and the horizon board is now installed and it already looks a lot more better uh, what's nice is that uh, uh, some of the existing coolers will uh, fit directly to the motherboard like this uh, uh, speed controlled uh, cooler which is nice the motherboard will have uh, control for its speed which is uh, just uh, perfect and removes uh, a lot of uh, needed cables to make it work with a fan controller the power supply is now installed and I did install it in the, the lower case and I have connected the, the drives, uh, they all have power now and only the cable that uh, are used in the up part of the case uh, go through this hole here so I have the motherboard connected as you can see I really hate uh, cable management and uh, probably cable management hates me because I do things like that and uh, I don't have patience to arrange the wires and make it uh, look nice I just want it to function as it uh, should and the moment of uh, truth is uh, here all the cables are now connected uh, all the drives are connected all the our cables are routed where they should be a uh, video card is also installed so if we are lucky we are going to have a boot up right up and the moment of truth is here so I'm going to power it on I'm going to use the screwdriver because the front is uh, taken off and I have also connected the RGB connected to the cooler that I have shown you previously and uh, you can see that the new cooler has RGB LEDs in it and the motherboard has red LEDs it has back lit circuit board it has this RGB here 
blade strip and the color of course and it all is red because it's red RGB and it's all connected and synchronized which is nice but I'm not going to see this ever because my case is uh, metal plate and it doesn't have a window and I don't look at it when it's running and here is the BIOS it's working so it has uh, booted successfully the BIOS has uh, two menus it's an advanced menu and a simple menu this is a simple menu where you can uh, just see some information and do some quick settings or you can switch to classic mode where you have a regular BIOS with a nice graphical interface and you can customize everything that you want here from frequency to boot sequences configure your ride array and so on let's now do a quick uh, BIOS overview so we have MIT with advanced frequency settings here you can set CPU clock ratio and you have advanced core settings there's a lot of things here extreme memory profile system memory multiplier right advanced memory settings and you have also sub timings for the memories advanced voltage settings dynamic vcord memory voltage pc health status we get voltages here miscellaneous settings look at that 3d mark 01 enhancement interesting smart fun 5 so you can create here profiles and uh, uh, how the motherboard should control the fans according to the register temperature that comes in handy on the system you will set only time and date it will show you the access level and the model and BIOS version here on the BIOS you get options from where to boot Windows 10 features so on you can set a password so just general settings on peripherals you can configure the color of the RGB so it's red now you can adjust that and yes you cannot see that now but you can do a color cycle and so on okay I don't want any kind of flashing lights and you can also turn it off which is better in my case legacy USB support alright trusted computer of course SATA controller configuration there's no one installed on the chipset you have the additional extension port here you can use a drive for a solid state drive in that or something else um, SATA mode in my case it's going to be RAID because I'm going to create some arrays and of course you can enable disable the additional ports on the power you have basic power management and of course save and exit and here it shows us the drive so that's the BIOS and uh, its uh, settings this is the menu for uh, creating uh, arrays so these are all my drives here uh, they all appear to be initialized as an array its own array and I cannot uh, create an array because I need to first delete the existing arrays but that will also delete all the data on my hard drives so if you are migrating your uh, drives you need to back up because you cannot re-establish a ride array and uh, to access data from the drives so you must delete it and recreate the array because it's another controller it's not the same model like it was on the previous motherboards so I have to delete 
all the arrays so I'm going to select them all delete and you can see it will delete all data from all drives and I'm going to continue and now it's deleting all of them one by one including the data from my uh, solid state drive which was the operating system I did do a full backup before starting this and it's now cleaned so I can create my first array I'm going to select this one and this one I'm going to select enter and this is going to be a ride uh, zero and it's going to be read right and I'm confirming and I have my first array now I'm going to create the second one using the other pair of identical drives here so I'm going to choose this one and this one and ok yet again it will be uh, zero type array and I will do it uh, rewrite and confirm it and that was it so I have my write arrays back again while the SSD will not be a write array and it's going to host the operating system with the two write arrays uh, configured now I need to uh, create an array with a single drive that's my SSD so I'm going to select it with insert and I'm going to select done and I'm going to make it a normal volume and I'm going to confirm it and it's going to be a read write and I'm going to confirm so now it's uh, creating an array with only one drive so all the arrays now will be visible in uh, the BIOS so I can select which one it's going to be a boot uh, sequence so I can uh, install the operating system on it and boot from it while the normal hard drive arrays are going to be used in uh, my video editing uh, so this is the end of uh, part 3 we have a running uh, PC build and now it will uh, need an operating system and of course after that it's going to need some uh, benchmarks on it to see how it stacks against uh, the competition until next time bye bye